Só the money ain't got activated. Só the money ain't got activated. Só that money ain't got activated. I saw that money ain't got activated. What is up, guys? It feels like it's been forever since I've picked up the camera and recorded. Um, even though it's only been like two days, I actually lost my camera for a couple days, but I found it today, and that's all that matters. Um, today we're working on the Cummins. We are supposed to be deleting the rear ABS valve. Um, as some of you may know, I've had issues with um, the rear brakes not working on the truck. I would leave the brakes, they would somewhat work, and then they would just stop working all over again. And pretty much everyone online says the ABS, the rear ABS module on these trucks has like a dump valve where like it shuts the rear brakes off to prevent it from sliding out or something. So like sometimes they'll go bad and they'll just get stuck in the dump valve position. Well, on here. So um, I went and bought these fittings, which I'll show you guys the part numbers in a minute, to uh, go ahead and bypass it. And of course, you know, I was like, oh, it's going to go super easy. You know, like I'll just lubricate the brake lines and I'll make sure I heat them up so they don't break. And I didn't get that lucky. So snap this line off. Of course, the line that goes all the way from the back to the uh, front. So i got to replace that now. And then this one, I'm hoping it doesn't break. This one just goes from here to the block, which I'm probably just going to replace the whole rubber line with that too because I have a feeling this one's going to be seized as well. I'm trying my best not to break it because I really don't want to replace brake lines. In case none of you know, brake lines are my, like I, I just, I can't do brake lines. Like I just, I hate brake lines with all, I used to have to do them in school and I think that's why I hate them. But um, yeah, so pretty much what what the uh, bypass consists of is you just take these two lines off and then I have a, a, a sequence of fittings that you just put between this line and the line that goes here that bypasses this whole junk module here. Um, and actually, I remember like when you'd hit the brake, you'd hear like almost air hissing out of this. Like it just sound like air. So I bet that's pulling in air or something. Not 100% sure, but um, SDX is this weekend, and I'd like to have rear brakes hauling a camper four hours away. Plus, it would make the truck a little more nice to drive because it sucks when it has a spongy pedal. Um, if I could figure out the alignment before we left, too, that'd be dope, but I highly doubt that because I think the only way to fix that is to put track bars on it. Um, but yeah, so I'm really right now, I'm just trying to figure out how long of a brake line I need. And it's looking like it's going to be really, really long. So, hopefully not. I don't know. We'll see. But, uh, yeah. I'll catch up with you guys in a second, and I'll give you guys the part numbers for those fittings. Alright, guys. So, I just made an executive decision that I think I'm just going to try to pull the flex off that line. And I think I'm just going to try to um, cut and reflare that line with a fitting. Because the line is in really good shape. It just seized into that fitting. And... Um, either way, I have to buy fittings, or actually, I don't even have to buy a fitting, I can just use the old fitting if I just reflare it, so, we're just gonna send it, I haven't flared a brake line in forever, so I guess we'll see how it goes, but, um, yeah, so we're gonna try that, I'm gonna try to get the other one loose too, so we know if we have to redo that one too, but, I'll catch you guys in a second, and I'll show you guys the procedure on how to flare a line, I might have to watch a couple videos, it's been so long, I literally haven't flared a line since... I was in school and I graduated in 2016. So, if that tells you how long it's been since I flared a, a brake line. Actually, no. I flared a brake line with my buddy on his Duramax and it started leaking. So, if that tells you anything. <laughs> but yeah, I'll catch you guys in a second. Okay, so we got the two uh, fittings off. Um, but pretty much what you're going to need. I'm going to take these back and get a compression fitting for mine because I have to reflare the brake line anyway. So there's really no point in me doing this. The only reason you would get this is so you could still use the line without, if it doesn't break. Um, so the part number, this is a 122-520-516 by 1 8. Um, it's like an elbow and that's so you don't have to bend the lines. 
And then that elbow goes into this inverter, which is a 203200 part number. And then from the inverter, this goes to the other uh, brake line, and it's a 3 16 tube nut inverted flare, as you can tell there. And I'll put a uh, picture up on the screen of somebody that installed one so you guys know what it looks like. Um, but I'm just going to take mine back and get a different, and just get a compression fitting. Um, because that, there's no need for all of this, so. Literally walk, started to drive to O'Reilly's without the freaking parts. Why am I like this? We will never know. Now we should be able to get someone. We got a 316 steel compression fitting, which is technically the better way to do it, do it over the brass. Um, yeah, so I don't have a brake line cutting tool. I'm going to try to cut it with a grinder and see if it leaks. And if it does, I'm just going to run over to my buddy's house, grab a brake line cutting tool, reflare it, and throw it in there. So haven't flared a brake line in a while, but uh, I'm sure we can figure it out. Okay, so wow. I feel like a little bit of an idiot. Um, I've lived all 21 years of my life not knowing that a compression fitting does not require flaring to the brake line. Which makes so much sense now because everyone always like gives a bad rep to compression fittings. They're always like, oh, it's it's not the right way to do it. It's a, a half patch, da, da, da. And I never understood why. Now I understand why. It's because you don't flare. You force a flare onto the brake line and it crimps it. I'm honestly kind of happy because there's been so many brake line things that I've not done because I don't want to have to flare something. And a steel compression fitting prevents me from doing that. That's so insane. I did not know that. So, for those that... I don't know how I did not know this. Maybe I've just not... I honestly have never really had a truck with really rusty brake lines. I've never really dealt with a lot of brake line issues. So maybe that's why I don't know this. But, for those that don't know, you don't need a flare. You just need to cut, have an even cut. And you stick the flare in each side and tighten it up. And you have a sealed brake line. That's insane. So we're going to go ahead and slide that on real quick. And I'll catch back up. Okay, so um, we have the compression fitting on the brakes. Uh, I've really got to test drive it, honestly, to tell if the brakes are any better. The pedal still seems kind of squishy. That could be another issue, though. Um, that and I just gravity bled the brakes. I didn't actually, like, get it. I didn't actually, like, pressure bleed them. Maybe that's something I could do on Friday. Um, and maybe it'll stiffen up the pedal some. But with that being said, uh, I'm not sure if you guys remember... When we first put our built trans in, we uh, went to put our trans temp sensor in, and it was like the longer style one, and the tip of it got crushed inside the trans, and then ever since then I haven't been running a trans temp sensor, which is terrible because I have no idea if the trans has ever gotten hot. Um, I feel like I can usually kind of tell if it does by the way it drives, but uh, I'm getting ready to install this real quick, and then uh, we'll go test drive it. Okay, so I just test drove the Cummins. Um, the rear brakes still don't seem to be working, uh, but I honestly think that they the brakes just need bled really good. Um, for some reason, it still has like you hit the pedal and it literally goes straight down, and then it stops like right before it hits the floor, and that's that's when the majority of the braking starts. Um, so I, I truthfully think there's just a bunch of air in the lines from that ABS module. I tried gravity bleeding them because I don't have anybody to help bleed the brakes um, and I just don't think that's going to cut it so my my assumption is either they need bled re really good or the shoes are extremely out of adjustment but I swear to you I just adjusted them so maybe I'm having an issue where the, sh the shoes are backing off on their own somehow I'm not 100% sure um, I truthfully won't really know anything until I get somebody over here to help me bleed the brakes so not 100% sure when that's going to be um, but we are pulling the hard body in to the garage and then we're going to pull the Cummins in the backyard um, because later this week we got to throw a power steering pump on it and I want to clean up the interior some and get some just do a little TLC on the Cummins before uh, 
we leave, I want to replace the trans cooler lines before we leave just because for some reason that rubber gets really malleable and it gets really like flexy and I'm afraid a line is going to pop off so I'm just going to replace both of them so that I'm not on the side of the road trying to replace two um, power or, uh, transmission lines and spending 90 or $100 in fluid so and risk overheating the transmission so I don't know if this is going to be the end of this video I doubt it because we didn't really complete much um, but if so thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for all the SDX videos um, I'm hoping this weekend goes really well and we have a great time I really don't want to be stressed out so hopefully everything goes smoothly and uh, hopefully I'll see some of you guys there deuces